Hi guys, welcome again to another video from Royalty Trading on the Discord server. This is Lola Claire. One of the things I struggled with when I first started trading years ago was how do you get started? What do you do? How do you find stocks? How do you trade? And I just thought I'd give you guys uh, my way of doing this and it's not foolproof but it's um, simply enough that I I can make profit from it and um, I just thought I'd share it with you just so that you can see how I do it so every morning what I do is I go on my finviz and I pull up um, um, the, the home screen basically that's that's where I trade but I also have a few things saved onto my screener I have my top gainers and I have I I have my Marabozu white and Marabozu black and my top losers but usually where I'm sitting at it's the top gainers I, I can just show you um, what it looks like so this is my setup here I can show you my filter I have stocks priced at $1 to $20. Uh, I need my average true, true range to be over 75 cents. I'd like the change to be between 3% and 500%. And, um, and I sometimes change my current volume to maybe a million or 750 or 2 million just to um, get better stocks. So, yeah, this is basically where I'm sitting at, though. I'm usually looking at the top gainers. And um, if they fall also in the unusual volume, then I'm sure looking at that. Okay, so then what I'll do, I'll just go through all my top gainers on the... Um, in in my, my thing, <laughs> my dashboard my dashboard here let me just take away this because this is not relevant right now and um, I what I do I would just look through all of the stocks to see which one matches something that I'm familiar with and I'm literally what you would consider literal pattern uh, trader where I only trade patterns I look to see what looks familiar um, and see go from there to see if I can trade that so if we're looking at um, CRC I have that up I look here to see what this looks like and then I'll just scan through all the time frames because sometimes you'll see your pattern show up um, on one time frame more than it'll show up on another so I'm looking at this and I'm thinking okay maybe this is something that I like I'll draw my trend line to show me what it actually looks like with this pattern what I know for sure is that it will drop to at least the VWAP or to support and then bounce so I'll be watching this for a short and then for a long so um, before I before I even do the pattern let me show you what I do and I've, I already have it here let me just go ahead and just take it all away so if I come in and I see this I will draw my support line first and I like that Weeble has it already there for me and um, I'll sometimes go f as far back as I can so I can get the top but then if this stock is all the way down at four then I wouldn't want to put my fib all the way up here so I'd give it a possible a possible uh, resistance here or I'd give it to here know what I'm doing I'm doing it here or here 
where it touches the most. So it comes up and hit here. These are sitting here, comes down and hit here, comes down and hit here. This comes there and hit here. So this is possible where I'd put my resistance line. Because I like that it's populated a lot right here at this price point. Actually, this is where I had it. Let me go down to here. Yes. I like it here because, yes, I like the hit, hit and bounce, hit and bounce. So then I just leave that there. And then what I would do, I would put in my Fibonacci line. And these are the two that I trade every single day. This is what I do every day. Let's look at it on the 30 minute. And then what I do after that is that I try to find in between these lines possible supports or resistance. So then I would go in and I would try to draw lines where I'm seeing the support is. Or lines where I'm seeing resistances and that would be like here let me just change that to this color here so what I'm what I'm looking at is resistance it's hitting there it's hitting there it's hitting here for the support it's coming down and hitting here hitting here then it's resist it it has formed well it becomes resistance here resistance here resistance here so that's what i would do and put in my lines well that's a fib line actually this is the support line so it's hitting here hitting here hitting here hitting here so i would leave that right there and then watch the stock to see what actually happens um, before I do my, um, before I finish my analysis, I look at the stock to see how it's actually trending. So I'm looking at it and there it is. It's making higher highs, uh, lower, lower highs, lower lows. So it's actually coming down. And then I'll put in my trend line just to watch to see if the stock breaks the trend line. And like I said, this is actually bearish to bullish flag for me. A lot of people may think otherwise, but um, I've traded this pattern quite often and I know that it usually breaks the trend line, hits here or hits here or even hits here and then bounce back. So I'll be watching this for a short and then for a long. Let's look at another stock, H-O-T-H. -H. And I'm using Weeble. So if anybody has that. So yes, here we get, again, we look at this stock. It's trending down. I look at it on the different timelines. And this is something I wouldn't trade. Because I'm not seeing anything really with this so I wouldn't trade that BGNE let's look at BGNE This is something I wouldn't trade again, but um, just for information purpose, I'm actually looking on Finviz here at 9.46 on a Saturday night, and um, we may not have any good stocks here right now. Um, oh, I, I am. This is the last stock I look at because we can go into something else. And 
I'm not sure why this thing keeps popping out. I think I'm doing something wrong here. M, did I say that? O I I M? Is that what it was? Let's look. O I I M, yes. All right, so yes, this is something I would be interested in. So again, I'm looking at it on the different time frames. And also, I'll be looking at volume as well. Um, volume is not here. I think we did see it on the other thing that popped up, but um, I just wanted a bigger uh, chart. So I'll be looking at um, I'll be looking at this because I like the way it looks. Nice candlestick formations. And what I'll do is I'll go to the daily, try to get as much information as possible going in and put in my support and my resistance line. And then I'll draw my fib. And then I'll try to see if I can find a pattern here. and draw that using my trend line. And also if my VWAP is not there, I'll, I'll put that in. And right now it's already there. So um, I'm noticing that VWAP is actually smacking there uh, this stock has bounced on um, FIB here. Let's see if it actually had hit resistance. Let's just draw a line here and see where this actually did go. Let's change the line so we can, the color so we can see it a little clearly. All right, so this stock, I'll be trading short because. If you notice that this stock has been hitting the resistance, support resistance line right here. And it's been trending down. Made some nice consolidation here at the $1.30 mark. It's at $1.70. So I'll be watching this for a short. So um, before I actually go into the trade, what I would do is go into my Excel spreadsheet here and say I have a thousand dollar in my equity account. I would um, see what the price of the stock is. And we did see, say we're going to trade this one here. It's um, it's currently a dollar sixty-two. So I would go into my Excel and I put in a dollar sixty-two and see if I have a six dollar six um, six times leverage or five times leverage or four times or three times. This will tell me how much shares I can buy. So um, if it's $5, that will change. And um, if you guys need to know how to create formulas, I can do that. But it's pretty simple. Um, what I did was I just put um, my equal sign, this, times my leverage, which is 6, and then divide by stock price. So it's pretty simple. And um, so then I can know how many shares I can buy. So that's basically what I do every morning. Um, also, I, I do check to see though if um, the stock is shortable because there are times when um, there are no stocks to short. All right, so basically, yeah, I, like I said, that's it. Um, 
I would go through and I would just pick the best stock out of all the ones I'm looking at and see which one I would I would trade and um, being a short bias trader I like to make sure that the stock has hit the resistance line and wait for it to start turning around and coming back so um, and when that is confirmed through a pattern then that's when I get into the stock so um, again take coming to you from Royalty Trading and on the discord server you can also check me out on um, convert to smart dot wordpress dot com like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the trading floor goodbye